We begin this morning in Iraq. That's because one month from today, all U.S. combat troops will be gone. This after nearly nine years of war. This morning at Camp Victory in Baghdad, the U.S. is actually handing over control and pausing to, to remember all of the troops who have died in the fighting. Back in 2003, as U.S. troops invaded Iraq, national correspondent Jim Axelrod was the first Western reporter to get to Baghdad airport. He is back in Baghdad this morning with the latest. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning. And what we're seeing here in Baghdad is really the beginning of this long goodbye that should take a couple of weeks as the final troop drawdown. 13,000 American troops still in Iraq, and they will begin reducing a number to a, a zero by the end of December, according to the agreement. We saw a ceremony today. We're seeing them all over the country. There was one in Basra, for instance, where flags of the United States at installations that are being guarded by U.S. troops are coming down and Iraqi flags are going up as the Iraqi security forces begin to take charge of security in a lot of places that have been guarded by U.S. troops up to this point. Jim, uh, in terms of the ceremony this morning, uh, what exactly did we see and what exactly did we, we not see? Yeah, we weren't even allowed at the ceremony this morning that involved Vice President Joe Biden because, as this is very reflective of what's going on, the Iraqis are now taking control of places like Camp Victory, which has been the command center for U.S. troops for all of these years. Now under Iraqi control, Western media actually barred from watching Pre Vice President Biden deliver a message of friendship and partnership that he was trying to deliver to the Iraqi people. Western reporters not even allowed in with the exception of the pool camera that had traveled from Washington with Vice President Biden. So you want to understand what's beginning to happen here in Iraq as the Iraqis take over. That's why we're broadcasting from this university, Mammon University in Baghdad, instead of out of Camp Victory, where the Vice President of the United States was earlier. Got it. So clearly, Erica. clearly, Jim, you are already seeing those changes and already seeing the Iraqis really uh, solidify their position as taking over control at this point. Uh, Jim Axelrod in Baghdad this morning. Jim, thanks.